Welcome back, everybody. Anybody that's new here, thanks for joining me today. Uh, if you're really new here, this isn't a product review channel per se. I do them um, based around trying to help other people out. Uh, I do them on everything, but mainly I'm an outdoors channel, do a lot of fishing, do a lot of product fishing reviews, <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, I do a lot of D DIYs, so if you're in the outdoors and you want to build things, a lot of that on this channel. Um, I will actually link a playlist with basically all of my reviews and DIYs and all that stuff at the end of this one. If you guys are interested in those. Those are you guys that are not new here and you're already subscribed. In case you're not, you could subscribe if you enjoy these kind of videos or any other outdoors content. But if you're not new and you are subscribed, you're going to be... <laughs> How many of you guys are happy I'm doing this review? Because it shows that I was listening. I was paying attention. I know how much you guys hated my audio. Uh, and those guys are, that are, if you're new here and you're checking this out, this video is all about the Purple Panda. Yes, it's actually called the Purple Panda Lav Mic. So it's a lavalier mic. It's the kind that you can clip to your shirt right here and stuff like that. But... What you guys don't know is I have one for my GoPro, which I'm going to show you guys. And then I have one. I don't know if all you guys know this, but I just film these things on my uh, phone because I can't afford a really nice camera. Once I can, I would like to buy a really nice camera at some point. You know, donations welcome. Merch link in description. It, it all goes right back into the channel. So if you guys want to see some HD camera stuff, we got some investing to do. But for now, uh, the mic was an easy step because I found one that I had, I, I had read a bunch of really good reviews on it. And the thing is, is it's not very expensive. So those of you guys looking for a cheap mic, let me know in the comments below if the audio sounds better or worse when I'm using it and when I'm not. I'm going to do a couple of tests and I want you guys to be the judge. So comment below what you guys think and then tell me <laughs> if you already subscribed how happy are you or do I need to do better? Do I need to spend more on a mic? Because uh, these are cheap mics. That's why I actually got two of them. That was a cool thing. But if I have to, I'll spend more money on a mic when I get that money. So let me know in the comments below what you're thinking. I am using the mic right now. Um, and technically, it's not one of those mics where, uh, like a Canon mic where you can hear good from a long distance away. It's actually meant to be within like a fist from your face type thing. Um, and I'm holding it out away from my face. So let me know what it sounds like in the comments below. But right now we're going to go over a couple of with and without tests. So I'm going to record with the mic attached to the phone like I am right now and then without it attached. And I'll go back and forth just to see if you guys can tell me the difference. Um, we'll see if it sounds different. I'll make sure all the audio levels are going to be exactly the same when I edit this. So I'm not going to raise or lower audio levels. I'm just going to leave it like right at the same. So don't be judgmental on audio levels. I'm just going to, like I said, leave them all the same and we're going to see what it sounds like as far as difference is concerned. That way you guys are getting an actual review of this mic and not one where somebody's like messing with the audio and trying to make it seem better than it is. I want real feedback in the comments below. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first, I want to show you uh, basically the gist of this. So this is my GoPro. I'm using an old Hero 4 uh, Silver. It works just fine, it records in 1080p, but that's the connective port. So this is what I'm gonna be recording with in a minute here. I'm gonna see what the difference is with that. But, so you have, you know, the, the port for that, the mini USB, and then, so this has, this comes with these different extenders and you have to have them. So like the way this one is set up, you have to have this one in order to work with the GoPro uh, Hero Silver. I do believe that the newer ones, like don't quote me on this, but the newer ones uh, work with these different ports. And I don't know enough about this stuff to actually tell you exactly what each one of these are. I just remember that they're different ones uh, for different sounds. So like one only works with like the the audio output on GoPros. The other one works on uh, with your phone and stuff like that or with a camera. So it's very specific. So make sure you look into that. I'm going to list this. So this is the 
this is what you're looking for. I'm going to list this in the description below if you guys want to buy your own. Um, it's it's an Amazon link, so it, it'll pay me a little bit of money if you buy them from there, which would help me out a lot in case I need to buy better ones. Or if we can eventually get to the point where I can invest in a brand new camera with like a bunch of nice stuff to it. But that's what you're looking for on Amazon um, if you go through my Amazon link in the description. But what I was going to get to was for the overall this is what it comes with so i believe this one uh there was like three different options you had like a six foot option you had a i think it was like a six a 10 and a 16 or a 14 uh foot cord and then they obviously they come with these windscreens but they're not on them they come with like a soft you know felt one so i just here it's black and it doesn't stand out but because i do all my outdoors filming uh i've been using the windscreens now here's something I want to ask before I forget about it. You guys have been watching these videos, hopefully this summer. I put out like three to four videos every week, all year long, nonstop. I even filmed on my vacation, guys. So if you guys are missing videos, turn on your notification bell and all that stuff if you guys want to catch all the videos. But I have been filming with these mics for, I believe, two months now. So. You guys need to let me know if the sound difference or sound quality has been better or if it hasn't if you haven't even noticed the difference uh those of you guys that are new here looking for the the main review of this so far it seems like the sound is better um with this mic on here for outdoor stuff or the the windscreen the fuzzy so i would 100 percent use that basically all the time i have it on here even though I'm in a house right now, uh, it kind of cancels out the ambient noise, uh, which is awesome when you have little things going on around you. But uh, so let me do a test here. I want you guys to tell me how big of a difference it makes. And like I said, I'm going to make all the sound levels equal so that we can tell the difference between uh, with a mic and then without a mic. So this is obviously with a mic right now. Hopefully it's making a much big, bigger difference and it's nice and clear and you guys are enjoying it. I'm going to cut clip, take that off, and let me know what it sounds without it. Okay, so this is without it. And I forgot to say, this is on a iPhone 7 Plus. So that's what I've been running around with, rocking with. Uh, it's nothing r extremely special, but it does enough for what I want it to do. Um, if you guys have noticed any kind of quality that you think could be better, it would only be if I could buy a nicer camera. Um, and I used to have a bunch of nice cameras, so I know what I need, but I just can't afford it. <laughs> so, you know, keep that in mind as far as you if you're subscribed. We're working on trying to make this channel much, much better. I have a lot of stuff I want to invest in. But the sound right now is what I want you guys to focus on. So this is without the mic attached. So this is just the audio from the the iPhone. So I'm going to attach it one more time, and then we're going to switch things. Okay, so now it's attached again. And like I said, I'm going to try and make it so that the audio is all the same levels in the edit, like when I edit this. So... It won't have any ups and downs due to audio levels. It'll only be because the mic is on or it's not on. So right now it is back on and it's on the iPhone 7 Plus. Um, that's what it sounds like with it on. So you guys comment below which one obviously sounds better. The, I know the iPhone is supposed to have a bunch of regulatory sensors in it that make it so that it you know levels out the audio by itself. But obviously it's not going to be as good as having a a mic external mic on it so let me know what that is and then now i'm gonna switch to this guy this old gopro hero 4 silver um it's the same thing so i just have the attachment you know on here you have to have these attachments in order to plug it into the gopro but it's the same thing it's just a it's got a wind mic on it on you know over the top of it and uh yeah let's switch to that and see how it sounds Okay, so obviously you guys can see it's attached to it right now, but I wanted to do a test here. So I'm going to have this facing me, and then I'm going to move the mic away from me, and then I want you guys to tell me if it makes a big difference when it's at distance. Right now it's about a foot away from my face. Um, this is where it normally would be, somewhere around my throat or on a strap or something down here. So you can let me know if it sounds better here 
or if you'd want it further away from my face. Um, the big thing I was going to let you guys know is this is an omnidirectional mic. So it's not, like I said, it's not a Canon mic where if you point it at something, um, it works that way. So this is on the GoPro Hero 4. So if you guys have GoPros, um, this would be a perfect little thing for that. It's cheap. Uh, like I said, I'll have it linked in the description below. But hopefully... I think it's right about here. Uh, it says that it's supposed to be about perfect, so about a fist from your face. So if you're, you know, if you're just looking for a lav mic to put on just with your GoPro, I think this one would do good. Um, now I'm going to take it and pause this clip, and then what we're going to do is we're going to remove the mic and we're going to see how the GoPro uh, audio is. Even though it's an older Hero Four Silver, it was actually supposed to be known for its really good audio, and that's why I have them. Okay, so this is the GoPro Hero 4 without me having the audio on it at all. So the mic is not attached to it at all. And this is just this is just GoPro Hero 4 sound um, or mics. And I believe there was like three mics on the Hero 4. They were like trying to like pick up everything. And that's kind of why I got it was because it, it literally does usually pick up all sounds. But... It has a problem with wind and then obviously if you have like big deep bassy reverberation in your voice like i do um you guys can let me know how bad this is compared to having the lav mic on there um, i'm going to attach it one more time just so you guys can get an experience of back and forth and then we'll go from there okay so this is the mic i have it attached just like it would be um just below my face so it's you know it's technically a fist from your face is what they say um, but you guys can let me know if this makes a drastic difference because I have been recording with it, hoping, hoping that they make that big of a difference. So that's why I have one on the GoPro and I also have one on my phone so that I can get the clearest audio for you guys that I can afford right now. Um, these are very affordable mics. So I think they were like 30 bucks a piece or something like that. Way less than the $100, $150 lav mics that I was looking at that are professional grade but I would like to invest in those in the future if you guys want me to up the audio or if this is good enough uh, and I'm making it nice enough, you guys let me know in the comments below. And then remember, give this video a thumbs up if I'm doing better here with these uh, reviews here. But on top of that, a thumbs up for investing in mics finally. I mean, it's been like four years. So <laughs> I just, you know, I, I looked and looked and looked and finally found one that had really good reviews. And that's the thing is I didn't, believe that any of the ones under like a hundred bucks would have been worth investing in so you guys let me know in the comments below and with the like button and then um, let's get finished up with this review so you guys can fix you know figure it out and make a decision for yourselves okay so like i was saying before uh, i'm mainly mainly record with my uh iphone 7 plus um this has the mic on it right now uh i have it like rigged up so that it's like just kind of sitting on the top of it and I have it so it's, you know, mainly facing me so that it picks me up uh, fairly well while I'm moving around and recording with this with the phone. Because uh, if you if I tried having it attached to here, I'd have to deal with cords and stuff like that all the time. And I have all the cords wound up really nice. And uh, I used a rubber band to hold them behind the phone on a Gorilla pad, Pod. Uh, I'm using a Jolby or whatever. Um... But like I said before, I'll link this in the description below if it is worth your time. Like if you guys think it makes that big of a difference, go ahead and get yourselves one. And then that, you know, that's another way to help out the channel. And like I said before, I do these reviews basically to try and help you guys out because I know what it's like when you're looking and you can't find an honest review because people are like bought and paid for on a regular basis. Um, I'm not bought and paid for. It's very, very, very hard to buy and pay for me because being homeless, being broke most of my life, all that stuff, I, I kind of developed this thing called integrity. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing this review for you guys. I also wanted to kind of show the guys that, you know, all you people that are subscribed, Comment below how happy you are <laughs> that I got a mic um, because that's why I got this was because I understand the value of good sound quality and I understand the value of all the good stuff. Like I want drones. I want good cameras. I tend to actually know how to operate most of that stuff. I just can't afford it. It's I'm still working my way back um, piece by piece. I'm trying to get everything together and you guys are helping a lot. So thank you for that. Um, I have to show my appreciation for you 
appreciation for all the subscribers because you guys are helping me do this step by step. Uh, the bigger we grow, the better things are going to get and uh, more exciting things are going to come. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's little review video of the, this is the pan, Purple Panda Lavalier Mic. Uh, hopefully that makes sense to you guys. But like I said, if you're looking for it, I'll have it linked in the description below. So it's really easy for you guys to find. And then remember, um, so I'm not going to take it off of here, but like if you're trying to use your phone, uh, this is a good tip. I'm sorry I put it at the end here, but if you're trying to use your phone, you need to use the little lightning bolt, uh, dongle thing, uh, cause, or thunderbolt. I can't remember. I think it's thunderbolt. Uh, to attach it and you have to have the right attachments in line uh, on the microphone in order to have that cord work with it. It's kind of complicated, but once you figure it out, it's pretty simple. And I like, I just keep my stuff all attached to each other and then I just plug it into the phone and go. So if you guys are trying to vlog with your phones and stuff like that, this would probably be a really good one for you because it's really simple. And yeah, if it sounds good, like right now, if it sounds good, then it's probably worth investing in. But Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it helped you guys out. Obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, could you please just remember to...